after studying this module you shall be able to know about some unconventional pesticides which are used for specific categories of living organism their mode of action and pharmacodynamics the method of excretion of pesticides pesticide is a substance or mixture of substances in, intended to prevent destroy renal or mitigate a pest in general pesticides are classified according to their biological targets because of the physiological and biochemical similarities of target species and mammalian organism an inherent toxicity is associated with pesticides in mammalian organism in addition with each classifications compound are identified according to mechanism of action chemical structure or semi synthetic source conventional pesticides deals with the common insects but there are other pests which are also a menace to come across with those pests it is necessary to invent a specific category pesticides rodenticides these are the chemical compound which exterminate rats mice moles and other rodents thallium zinc and aluminum phosphides vacar phosphorus alpha naphthyl thiourea cholecalciferol arsenic barium carbonate bromethylene fluoroacetamide sodium monofluoroacetamide red skill strychnine are some of the example of common rodenticides some of these are very commonly involved in human poisoning example phosphorus zinc and aluminum phosphide long acting anticoagulants fungicides these are compound which kills fungus and molds the example of fungicides are thiocarbamates captain captafol bevestin vitavax hexachlorobenzene and sodium azide thiocarbamates has an extensive range of specimens which includes binomial benthacarb within the bracket or thiobenzacarb cyclot dilate forbem molinate thiram thiophenate trialate gineb and girem carbendazim repeat again carbendazim carbendazol etu men uh, repeat again mencojab menab and vondojab and benzimidazol within the bracket ethylene bis dithiocarbamate or ethylene thiourea compounds that are also used as fungicides these compounds have relatively low toxicity they do not hinder acetylcholinesterase unlike carbamates formulation of these compounds are broadly used for pest control in home gardens and in commercial agriculture nematicides these are compounds which exterminate nematodes that is worms it exclusively example is ethylene dibromide basically ethylene dibromide type fumigants are applied to control rodents nematodes insects weed seeds and fungi anywhere in the soil structure crop grains and commodities historically diverse chemical classes have been used as fumigants but only a few remain in use today most fumigants were abandoned because of their toxicity many of which were halogenated solvents the discontinued halogenated hydrocarbons include carbon tetrachloride chloroform bromochloropropane 1 to dichloropropane ethylene dibromide and ethylene dichloride ethylene dibromide was previously approved for use as fumigants to protect against insects pests and nematodes in citrus vegetables and grain crops and as a fumigants for tough particularly on golf courses in 1984 the environment protection agency banned its use as a soil and grain fumigants unfortunately in india it continues to be used widely causing human poisoning 
not infrequently. Acaricidides. Acaricidides is a pesticide deliberated to control harmful species of mites. In crop protection practices, acaricides are used against phytophagous mites, pests affecting economic harms to agriculture crop and decorative plants. These are complex which are exterminates mites, ticks and spiders. Spider mites generally polyphagous species are common pests in modern agroecosystem. Worldwide and some of them are among the most important crop pests. Phytophagous mites nourishes on the liquid content of plant cells, thus disturbing the physiology of a host plant and causing various damages to plant tissues and organs while some of the species can also act as vector of plant viruses. In spite of comparatively small size, plant feeding mites can cause significant damage in crop yield and uh, quality losses because they have short lifespan and under favorable conditions their population quickly reach high abundance. Example of acaricides are azobenzene, chlorobenzylate, tadion and calthane. They are rarely encountered in human poisoning. Molucicides. These are the compounds which are capable of killing molluscs such as snails and slugs. Example, metaldehyde which is a tetramer compound with an 8 member of ring containing aldehydes molecule and also a cyclic polymer of acetaldehyde. Metaldehyde is a popular molluscicide being effective against snails and slugs. It is a tasteless substance with a mild characteristic odor. Instances of poisoning is however rare. It is a local irritant on skin and mucous membrane and a systematic convulsant. Metaldehyde overdoses results in lethargy, severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hyperthermia, seizures, chroma and death. Profound hyperthermia may occur in association with seizures. Inhalations of metaldehyde films may cause CNS depressant. The probable lethal dose LD50 is the range of 100 mg per kilogram for adults. Extraction of pesticides. The extraction of pesticide in biological material like viscera, stomach content, gastric lavas and blood in such meticulous due to the interferences of fat, degraded proteins and coloring matter in the matrices. The extract involves appropriate cleanup except for micellar methods. The extraction in case of non-biological matrices are less cumbersome and needs either slight cleanup or even no cleanup. The method described here under are based on solvent extraction come shedding under diverse conditions uh, namely nature and conditions of matrices used of organic solvents etc. A method 1 sodium sulfate and N hexane method biological materials visceral stomach content or gastric lavas etc are macerated into fine slurry by mixing with equal amount of anhydrous sodium sulfate sodium sulfate and relocated into a conical flask with an air condenser 50 ml of N hexane is added to the flask and heated on a hot water bath for one hour the content are cooled and filtered. The remaining slurry is extracted twice with 25 ml portion of N hexane. The filtered N hexane fractions are combined and taken into a separating funnel. This hexane layer is vigorously shaken with 15 ml, 10 ml, again 10 ml portions of acetonitrile, which are previously saturated with N hexane. The acetonitrile layer are mixed and taken into another clean separating funnel and diluted 10 times with distilled water. 25 ml of saturated sodium sulphate solution is added to it and extracted thrice with 25 ml portions of anhexane. The anhexane layers are combined concentrated to 5 ml by evaporating on water bath 
and 5 grams of anhydrous sodium sulfate. The extract is evaporated as and when required for analysis. Method 2. Sodium sulfate and acetone method. 50 grams of macerated tissue or biological material are mixed with equal amount of anhydrous sodium sulfate and 100 ml of acetone in a conical flask and then reflex on water bath for one hour. After cooling, the acetone extract is filtered. The residue is extracted twice with further 50 ml portion of acetone. The acetone fractions are combined and concentrated by evaporations up to 50 ml for further processing. The above acetone extract 50 ml is taken into separating funnel and diluted with 150 ml of water. 20 ml of saturated solution of sodium sulfate is added to the same. The contents are extracted thrice with 25 ml portions of chloroform with gentle shaking. The chloroform extracts are combined, washed with water, acetone mixture and finally with 50 ml of water. The washed chloroform layer is passed through anhydrous sodium sulfate and then evaporated to dryness by passing air. C. Method 3. Extraction of pesticide in stomach wash urine and vomit. The sample 20 ml of stomach wash or urine or 10 to 20 grams of vomit is taken in a conical flask. 50 ml of anhexane is added. It is reflexed on a water bath for half an hour. After cooling, the liquid is filtered, mixed with 20 ml of anhexane and taken in a separating funnel. The anhexane layer is separated, passed through anhydrous sodium sulfate and evaporated to dryness by passing a current of air through it. D methods for extraction of pesticide in blood. 20 ml of blood is mixed with 10 ml of 10% sodium tungstate solution and 15 ml of 1 normal sulfuric acid shaken for 2 minutes and then filtered. The filtrate is kept reserved. The residue is washed with 2 15 ml portions of 0.1 normal sulfuric acid. The washings are collected mixed with filtrate, kept reserved, transferred into a separating funnel and extracted thrice with 20 ml portions of an hexane. The hexane layers are combined and passed through anhydrous sodium sulfate and the solvent is removed by passing a stream of air as stated in the previous methods. E. Method 5. Direct solvent extraction. The biological material 50 grams of viscera are mixed with 5 grams of ammonium sulfate and homogenized after adding of 100 ml of diethyl ether the mixture is shaken at intervals and kept overnight. It is filtered and concentrated as before. The concentrated extract is cleaned up by passing through a chromatographic column diameter 2.5 cm containing three successive layers of different lengths. This 5 cm layer of alumina, top layer, 2.5 cm activated charcoal middle and 2.5 cm layer of anhydrous sodium sulfate within bottom, previously washed with ether, the resulting elute is evaporated to dryness as before. When the biological material are clean and purified that is less degraded and contains very little fat and coloring matter, the following method may be adopted. 50 grams of biological material is treated with a few drops of phosphoric acid and steam distilled for 15 minutes. The distillate is collected and subjected to solvent extraction with 100 ml of diethyl ether in 20 ml portions. Ethereal layer are collected during extractions, combined and subjected to clean up by passing through chromatographic columns as discussed before. G. Method 7. Isolation of pesticide in non-biological materials. Matrices 20 to 25 grams of rice or more if available or 100 ml of drinking water or tea or coffee or milk or wearing apparel 20 to 25 round pieces cut out from fabric each of 2.5 cm diameter or 20 to 25 grams of soil, sand, grains or cereals for the above material. Direct solvent extraction is carried out with 50 to 50, 100 ml of diethyl ether without adding ammonium sulfate. The ethereal extract is concentrated to 20 ml and cleaned up by column chromatography as stated above. The ethereal extract is collected, evaporated to dryness by passing steam of air. H. Method 8. 
micellar extraction in biological matrices. 50 grams of biological material viscera is mixed with 5 grams of ammonium sulphate and homogenized. After addition of 100 ml of diethyl ether, the mixture is shaken at intervals, capped overnight and filtered. The ether extract is taken into a separating funnel. 10 mg of sodium laurel sulphate is added and stirred gently. On settling, fat in liquid and semi-solid form is separated and taken off from the system. The addition of surfactant is continued till all the fatty materials and proteins are separated and settled at the bottom. The end point is indicated by a change of dark color of ethereal layer to colorless. The ethereal extract is shaken with 25 ml portion of water twice gently. The ethereal layer is collected in case of emulsions formations. Ethereal layer is collected by breaking the emulsions with excess ether and gentle steering. The collected ethereal layer in dried over anhydrous sodium sulphate to remove traces of water, the ethereal layer is decanted and evaporated to dryness as before. Method 9. Extraction of pesticide in fruits, vegetables, butter fats by universal trace residue extractor. The sample is extracted direct solvent extraction with dichloromethane. The extract is dried over granular and hydrous sodium sulphate in a column. The dried extract thus obtained is concentrated by a stream of nitrogen. The concentrated extract is then subjected to sweep co-distillation in the universal trace residue extractor at 230 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes by passing nitrogen 230 ml per minute sodium sulphate 10% fluorocyl 1 is to 1. Elution is made by 5 ml of 10% acetone in hexane or 5 ml of dichloromethane. The extract is collected for analysis. The application of this method to different pesticides for their analysis in biological matrices required further standardization to set up optimum analytical conditions to cover different classes of pesticides. Method 10. Extraction of pesticide in sediment, soil, dry waste and tissue by accelerated solvent extraction. The sample is mixed thoroughly or passed through one mm sieve. Sufficient sample is introduced into the grinding apparatus to yield at least 10 to 20 grams after grinding. The sample is air dried and room temperature for 48 hours in a glass tray or on hexane cleans aluminum foil. The drying may also be made by mixing with anhydrous sodium sulphate until a free flowing powder is obtained. Air drying is not recommended for a while in volatile pesticides. A sticky fibrous oily or oily material not responsive to grinding and either be cut, shredded or otherwise separated to allow mixing. These may be grinded after mixing with anhydrous sodium sulphate 1 is to 1 proportions. A cellulose disc is placed at the outlet and end of the extraction cell. Either 10 grams of each sample in 11 or 20 grams of each sample in 22 ml is taken in the extraction cell. Surrogate spikes and metric spikes may be added to the appropriate sample cell. The extraction cell were placed into the auto sample tray and then collection trays are loaded in appropriate number up to 24. The tray is loaded with 40 ml pre-cleaned clap vials with septa. The conditions for extraction of ASE are set for extraction of pesticide by using acetone hexane 1 is to 1 volume by volume as the solvent. The operating conditions include oven temperature of 100 degree centigrade, pressure at 1500 psi, oven heat time and static time and each of 5 minutes and flush volume in the proportion of 60 percent of extraction cell volume. The extract are collected for analysis. The method has been validated for analysis of pesticide in soil, sediments, dry waste and fish tissues. However, further standardization is required for application of ASC to biological matrices in forensic toxicological work. Method 11, sweep co-distillation. This is a special type of distillation based on preferential volatilization of organic compound, especially pesticide from oil, lipids or plant extract. Using a stream of inert gas and subsequent isolation of volatile or cold traps 
or solid adsorbents it is pure and trap techniques involving dispersion of the sample in these films on deactivated glass beads or fluorescent or alumina or silica gel or tenax as a trapping media a elevated temperature universal trade residue extractor and accelerated solvent extractor that is the highly automatic extraction system for rapid extraction of multiple sample work on this principle method 12 micellar extraction micellar extraction is a special type of extraction procedure that appears to be unique in the separation of drugs plants poison pesticides in biological matrices in the bracket visra in the extraction of active constituents as above micellar environment of surfactants of different classes is employed surfactants or surface active agents at a particular concentration in solution known as critical micellar concentration form micel or association colloidal at this concentration or above marked change in the property that is viscosity conductance and electrical conductance are exhibited surfactants in solution also act at the interface of two phase system of oil and water or organic solvents and water resulting solubilization of one phase into the other biological matrices within the bracket viscera contains fats degraded proteins and coloring matter etc make the extraction of active constituents difficult in the solvent extraction process if surfactant is added to the extractant within the bracket organic solvents deproteinization and also solubilization with the formation of emulsion will occur due to micellar interaction the emulsion thus formed is due to solubilization of fat in biological matrices in the added solvent within the bracket containing traces of water simultaneous formation of emulsions occurs due to micellar interaction the emulsion thus formed due to solubilization is destabilized on increasing the concentration of surfactants in the system as a result fats are separated as semi solid material due to lowering of zeta potential between the electrical double layers of the colloidal system as protein and fats are separated out the supernatant liquid containing active constituents may be extracted for poison by organic solvent the detailed analytical conditions have also been presented at appropriate places in this manual method 13 microwave accelerated reaction system the method of extraction is used for isolating pesticides in biological material especially in liver and kidney in this process the sample is subjected to rapid heating with organic solvent by microwaves at elevated pressure resulting isolation of active constituents the biological material at 5 to 10 grams is placed inside a microwave transparent vessels with a polar solvent or ionic solution and is subjected to rapid heating by microwave in a microwave accelerated reaction system digester the analytical conditions temperature time of digestion pressures may vary depending on active constituents and nature of sample viz monocrotophos and phosphamidon are successfully extracted within 15 to 20 minutes from viscera using dichloromethane as a solvent at 80 to 100 degrees centigrade and 100 psi however optimization of analytical conditions to cover different classes of pesticide is required for a rapid extraction by this method method 14th universal trace residue extraction it is a system that has been developed for the recovery of pesticides and organic residue from a wide range of samples including biological material it is based on the principle of sweep co distillation that relies on preferential volatilization of pesticide or other organic chemicals from biological material lipids plants extracts using a stream of inert gas and subsequently isolation of volatiles on coal traps of solid absorbent it is purge and trap techniques involving dispersion of the sample in thin films on deactivated glass beads as elevated temperature the extractor system is specifically designed to recover volatile thermally stable organochlorine and organophosphorus pesticide from lipids meat butter viscera etc at present the distillation 
tube does not contain glass beads or glass wool as it renders less recovery. Fluorocyl in conjunction with sodium sulphate has been found satisfactory for trapping many different classes of volatile organic compounds. Alumina, silica gel and 10x are materials that have potential for use as trapping media with advantages over fluorocyl in specific application. The method is expected to fail for thermally labile pesticide as the consumption of solvent is minimum. The method required optimization of analytical conditions before its application to biological samples in forensic cases. Method 15 Accelerated Solvent Extraction The name of method signifies multiple sample handling in a very short time by a very updated extraction system which also work on the same principle as universal trade residue extractor that is sweep co-distillations. In this method, a commonly used solvent is pumped into an extraction cell containing the sample which then brought to an elevated temperature and pressure. Minutes later, the extract is transferred from the heated cell to a standard collection vial for cleanup analysis. The entire extraction process is fully automated and performed in solvent consumption performed in minutes for fast and easy extraction of multiple samples with a very minimum solvent consumption. The standard or optimum analytical conditions are to be arrived for its applications to biological matrices in forensic toxicological work covering a broad spectrum of pesticides. However, the method has been found to be effective for soil sample. P method 16 superfluid critical extraction SFCE gases above their critical pressure and temperature are in a supercritical state intermediate between that of a gas and liquid supercritical fluids have strong extraction properties because the solubility of compound fluid is close to that of a true solvent and much lower viscosity allows it to percolate through packed bed of samples thus not only there is an efficient contact between the extracting fluid and the sample, but the fluid is easily removed when it is released from its supercritical state. Carbon dioxide is nearly always the chosen gas for SFC in view of innocuous nature and mild critical conditions, namely critical pressure of 75 bar and a critical temperature of 31 degree centigrade which are relatively easy to achieve at present. The sample holder is composed of a number of small stainless steel cartridges which are filled with the sample in a particular state. Solid samples such as soil or sediments are packed into the cartridges without any pretreatment and aqueous samples can be flashed through the cartridges filled with an appropriate absorbent to concentrate all of the contaminants. The cartridges are subsequently fed into the extraction even and the carrier gas line which at this stage consists of supercritical carbon dioxide. The extracted compound are carried to the cold trap and condensed after the heated construction which restores carbon dioxide to its true gaseous state. After the appropriate extraction period, the circulation of coolant seizes and trap is rapidly heated to vaporize the components. At the same time, the column temperature is programmed according to the required conditions. The adjustable split partitions the sample size to avoid the possibility of overloading effect. SFC is suitable for extraction of pesticide traces in solid and aqueous sample. Summary, it is well established that pesticide poisoning is a threat to the society through accidental but the requirement of overcoming from the problem is necessary. F forensically, the emphasis is upon the detection of the substance used for the poisoning case so as to ensure the nature of the crime that is either suicidal or accidental. There are several preliminary tests as well as further confirmatory tests for the detection of pesticide in a given biological or non-biological matrices. But the completion of those less exclusively depend upon the extraction process else the test would be ineffective. Besides, the test mentioned above, many instrumental methods are available which includes thin layer chromatography, high performance liquid chromatography, high performance thin layer chromatography, 
गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी जीसी सी एट्सेट्रा